Madame Robani was born in 1910 as Mary Maxwell. Her father, William Sutherland Maxwell, was a famous Canadian architect whose considerable reputation has grown even greater with time. His buildings are known throughout Canada. Her mother, May Ellis Bowles, who was living in Paris, became the first American in Europe to accept the Baha'i faith in 1898 and one of its first disciples in the Western world. She was among the first party of Westerners to visit Abdul Baha, the son and successor of Baha'u'llah, while he was still a prisoner of the Ottoman Empire in the penal colony of Akka in 1899. She became a true apostle of the new religion and a famous Baha'i teacher. Her last heroic act was a trip to teach the Baha'i faith in South America. Though elderly and in frail health, her love for the Latin people impelled her to visit Argentina, where she died on March 1, 1940, just a few days after her arrival. She is buried in Quilme Cemetery outside Buenos Aires. Little wonder then that her daughter would have an extraordinary life, becoming the highest ranking international official of the Baha'i community with the title, the Hand of the Cause. But their, their mission in life, if you like, is to help people to understand the Baha'i faith, to hear about the Baha'i faith, to um, uh, give as much of an impetus to the spread of the Baha'i message. You don't have to accept it. If you don't want to be a Baha'i, don't be a Baha'i, but for heaven's sake, listen to its message. Because in economic, social, spiritual, moral teachings, it is very advanced. In a half dozen books and in countless lectures and talks, she has set forth the essential teachings of the Baha'i religion. In 1937, she was married to Shoghi Effendi, the great-grandson of Baha'u'llah and the appointed hereditary head of the Baha'i faith. She became fluent in the richly poetic Persian language, adding to her already impressive command of English, French, and German, a necessary requirement in her new life and in addressing the many Persian pilgrims from Iran in their own language. For 20 years, she served as the most trusted secretary to Shoghi Effendi, answering the burgeoning volume of his correspondence as the Baha'i faith rapidly spread all over the world and tending to the myriad other matters which fell upon her as the wife of the head of the Baha'i faith. 